in this video I just want to take you through a few little examples um, just to get you hopefully a little more comfortable with writing sets um, so the first thing let's just write a set of the hearts from a standard deck of cards so now if you're not sure what a standard deck of cards is go Google it and look it look it up so just to help you visualize here's a little picture of it so you can see your four different suits um, where this is the spades here are the clubs hearts there's an a in that word and diamonds and you can see those are just the shapes so you can see there's diamonds and then hearts clubs and spades then uh, as far as this the the denominations you can see there's the 13 different denominations for each suit so uh, you can see that there's four of each type there's four fours four fives four sixes and so on and so forth okay so let's write a set of all the hearts okay so what would that look like if we're doing the hearts well that set would be the ace of hearts two of hearts three of hearts four of hearts and so on and the point of this is I wanted to not actually write out the entire thing but just show you the notation I wanted to make sure you understood this you <coughs> separate each element in a set with a comma so you can use whatever notation you would like in between to uh, convey the concept you're trying to show and then establish a pattern and once you've established your pattern you can then use a dot 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 to finish that off until you want get to the end of your pattern where you establish the last couple elements make does, I hope that makes sense so now I don't have it in the notes but I want to ask this question anyway so let's call this the H for hearts so what would N of H mean what would that be asking well remember that N notation means cardinality so we'll just ask you how many elements are there so going back over to our picture if you need to see it there are 13 different elements these ones are easy to see because we're only looking at the hearts it's one two three four so you're just counting those up to ten jack is eleven queen is twelve king is thirteen so there are thirteen so we would say n of h equals thirteen okay um, so now can you write the set of even numbers between two and thirteen all right so you try this make sure you give it a name make sure you use the notation and aside from that you'll be good to go I'll give you guys a second okay so I'm going to give it E for even, and if it's between 2 and 13, it would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Could you have used a dot, dot, dot and, and gotten through this? Absolutely. I feel like it's not that many numbers, so you might as well just do it that way. Okay, so now what would N of E be? I know the problem didn't ask for it, but just good practice. So then what is that saying? Well, how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six elements. Great. Um, so write now this is fun write the set of elements for rolling two distinguishable dice now I'm going to say you may want to go over here now what I'm trying to demonstrate with this is you don't always have to write them in a row you can write them in a in almost like a matrix if it's more convenient and easier on your brain so now what we're gonna be doing is rolling two distinguishable dice so that means we can tell the difference so the idea here is if we think about it, it's like one die being a green die and the other die being a red die Okay, so what are my possible combinations? Well, on the green die, I could roll a 1, and my red die, I could roll a run, roll a 1. Or I could roll a 1 and a 2, or a 1 and a 3, or a 1 and a 4, or a 1 and a 5, or a 1 and a 6, right? So then, similarly, on my green die, I could roll a 2, and my red die, I could roll a 1. Then I could roll a 2 on my green and a 2 on my red, or a 2 on my green and a 3 on my red, and I, whoops, a 2 and the whole point of this is do you notice I'm establishing a pattern so I can now work my way through this because what's gonna come up later in the class isn't writing out these in giant sets like I'm doing right now uh, and you're doing right now it's more gonna be figuring out the cardinality and once you establish a pattern sometimes you don't you can stop after two rows and say okay now I can figure this out and go dot 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 and so on and so forth but the one thing I want to point out here is with a indistinguishable or sorry with distinguishable distinguishable dice is this and this saying something different or are they saying the same thing yes I'm rolling a one and a two but are they the same 
Well, no, because the way I'm we're saying here is the way I'm writing it is the first number represents the green die, the second number represents the red die. So this is my green die showing a 1 and my red die showing a 2. Where this one here is my green die, I need my green pen, green die rolling a 2 and my red die rolling a 1. Those are clearly different scenarios uh, and you can tell the difference between the two of them. So therefore those are not repeats, those are not the same thing occurring. Those are two different elements. Those are two, or those are two different events occurring. Okay, so then we just continue this out. Um, I will allow you to do it. I'm just going to pause the video while I fill this in, so you don't have to watch me write all these numbers. Okay, so we have those all filled in, and so now you can see that is our our uh, set um, for two distinguishable dice. So maybe now we need to give it a name. Maybe we'll call it D for dice. Okay or deep or distinguishable. All right, now, same problem, but now instead we're going to do it for indistinguishable dice. So how does that change the problem? Well, I'm going to use this same set here because I just don't have enough space, and it's fine. I think you'll get the idea, but the idea is if they are indistinguishable. So now what we're saying is I can't tell the difference. So the one and the two and the two or the one are repeats. They are the same thing. It, they're, they, I can't tell the difference. So I don't need this 2 and a 1. Now, have I, so if I, in my first list, I have a 1 and a 1, a 1 and a 2, 1 and a 3, 1 and a, right, all of those events can occur. Now, have I covered this 2, 2 yet? Well, no, because all in all of this first row, I always had a die that rolled the number 1. And this, now, so here I don't have that. So going to the third row, uh, do we know, have we, do we already have a combination of a 3 and a 1? Yes, we do. That's right there so we can erase it we don't need that one how about a three and a two yep right there so therefore I don't need that how about a three and a three oops let me get that three back do I have a three no no because up above I either always had a two or always had a one and anything past here I don't have any twos or ones so therefore these are all going to be new and now you hopefully you're seeing the pattern you say okay anything with a one a two a three I already have anything after that with fours and fives I don't have so we have to keep all those those are all new similarly so now we're this row we're up to one two threes and fours and fives those all go away so now I'm just left with five and five and five five and five six and similarly for the end do, do, do. whoops not a not a matrix try again there we go all right so now that is our set of dice for the indistinguishable, or set, set of uh, elements for indistinguishable dice. So that would look like that. Okay. Um, hope this is making sense. Two more examples, and then we'll have another video where we actually have something new. So now, here we go. Take a pause, give this a shot. Um, can you find A union B? If I'm telling you A consists of an Xbox, a couch, a bed, and silverware, by the way, this is what my wife brought to the table. And then for me, when we got married, I had an Xbox, a bed, a futon, and plastic plates. So, because a typical, typical boy, right? All right, so when they get married, when we get married, when we have a union, what is going to occur? So A, union B, what does that create? Uh, well, we have two Xboxes, so we don't need to keep both. We just keep one, right? Uh, we have a couch over here, with a, so we need a couch. Okay, no couches on the other side. We need a bed, right? We have a bed, we need a bed. Just keep one of those. Silverware. I was right, silver. And none of that over here. Uh, now, we're out of her list. Now, over here, I had a futon. And I had some plastic plates. So, therefore, that would be my set. Okay? Uh, I'm going to give myself a little bit more room, so pardon me for five seconds. Take that. Yeep. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, what about intersect? What would intersect mean? Right? You're standing at the intersection of Union Hills and 32nd Street. It's what they have in common, the space they both share. So, therefore, this intersection would be, right, we both have an Xbox. Check. Check. Uh, let's see, couch, no couch, no, no, no inclusion. All right, bed and bed. Yes, we'll keep. We have an intersection of bed. 
great. Silverware, yes. Futon, no. Okay, yep. All right, that's it. That's all we got. Those are the only two things they had in common. Okay. Hope that helped. All right. And now one more for you to practice. This is just um, a little more fun. This is to help you practice the uh, less less scripted, more mathematical. Um, so let W be the set of whole numbers and let E be the set of even numbers. Now the good news, we're not going to be doing a lot of this whole number, even number stuff. It's going to be more about like Xboxes and cards and dice. Great news or really, really bad news, uh, depending on your feelings. Uh, but don't spend a whole bunch of time trying to memorize the integers and the whole numbers and the... All, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the whole numbers are all your counting numbers starting at zero. Evens are... Um, and we're gonna let's define your evens just being positive as two and up two four six. So therefore, the intersection here would be what? Actually, you know what? Let's not. Let's not. Let's include the the negatives. That'll make it a little more fun. So this would include negative four, negative two, uh, and we'll be consistent with what we did earlier. So that's always good. Hope you thought. Okay. So there's my evens. So therefore, what would the intersection of the holes and the evens be? Give me a second to try it. I'm going to pause the video for a second. Okay. Um, and and uh, so here we go. And I, I want to say the even numbers being negative, it, it, it's a gray area, but who cares? We're, it's, we're not in a math theory and a, a number theory course. We're just playing around with sets. Okay, so don't, don't overthink it. All right, so the whole numbers. Those are zero and up counting numbers, and the even numbers we're defining as this. So therefore, what, that, what would that look like? Well, we'd be going all the evens from negative 4, the negative 2. Now we get to include zero because of the holes, right? So 0, 1, and then from there on out, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Because from the, the negative side, we only are picking those up from the evens. Whole numbers start at 0 and then count up. Okay? The evens were all the negative numbers that were divisible by 2, including 2, 4, 6, and ones and positives. So we're going to keep all those negatives, and then we're going to pick up all the numbers from the whole. All right, so now, intersection. Intersection of holes and evens. All right, so what does that look like? Well, they don't overlap in the negative, so those all get tossed out. They don't overlap at 0, so that gets tossed out. So then the 1 gets tossed out because it doesn't overlap. The 1 isn't an even. So then after that, all we're going to end up with is 2 and up. We're going to end up with 2 and then the evens going up from there. All right, so I'm hoping this is making sense. So the last thing we're going to do in the next video is we're going to do Venn diagrams, and then we will be done with these two sections. Yes! If I could get the video to stop.